Hello. In this video, we are talking about Google Cloud VPC firewall policy. Now, before I can jump on to what is Google Cloud firewall policy, let's first talk about Google Cloud firewall rules. The Google Cloud firewall rules basically allows you to allow or deny traffic based on the port number you specify. And these rules are created on every VPC. So if you have 10 VPC, you would need to create 10 rules in 10 different VPC. They might be the same rule, but you would need to do the same process 10 times. Now this is what Google Cloud VPC firewall policy is trying to solve. So if you are a company or an enterprise who has multiple VPCs, okay, and you want to manage the rules within this VPC, firewall rules within this VPC in a much simpler way, instead of managing them inside individual VPCs, you can use firewall policy. So firewall policies lets you group several rules so that you can update them all at once. So these policies are essentially conta containers, right, which will contain the rules that you specify. It would be the allow or deny rule. The rule creation remains the same, okay, as you do in the VPC firewall rules, okay. And then you can apply it on a particular region or you can apply it to the entire globe or you can apply it to the entire organization. Now the firewall policies can be created in three ways or there are three types of firewall policies. The first firewall policy is the hierarchical firewall policy. Then we have global network firewall policy and followed by regional network firewall policy. Let's look at them one by one. So the hierarchical firewall policies are created at the organization node or at the folder node. You can create this policy within this policy you can have rules so maybe you want to allow port number 80 for uh, the entire internet so you will create a rule for that and this rule can this policy can be created on the uh, organization node or on the folder node within the policy you will have this rule and then you can apply it or you can associate it with the uh, entire organization or to a particular folder okay and all the vpcs within those projects get these rule applied automatically. Followed by the hierarchical policy, we have global network policy. So global network policy, as the word says, is a global, it gets applied globally and it is created on every project. So instead of creating at the folder node or at the organization node, it gets created at the project and then you can associate it to all the projects within, sorry, you can associate to all the VPCs within that project and the, whatever rules you will have inside this global network firewall policy gets applied to all the projects for all the regions. Next is the regional network firewall policy. Again, this is also created at the uh, or project node. Okay. And this policy will have multiple rules again within it depending upon your requirement. But the global firewall policy would get associated to all the subnets across the globe. This one gets associated to the region which you will select. So you will create a network, a regional network firewall policy. You will decide a region. Let's say you decided a region as US Central one. Now all the VPCs and the subnets in this particular region will get the rule applied. Okay. Again, you would need to do the association. It doesn't get applied by just creating. So you need to associate that network. So this is what the firewall policy is trying to solve so instead of you managing the rules individually in every network you create it as a container and then you can associate at the folder node or at the organization node if you are using the hierarchical firewall policy or else you can create uh, the uh, firewall policies at the project level and then you can decide you want to associate these rules to the entire group uh, entire globe and the subnets in the, in, in the entire globe for particular VPC or multiple VPCs or it should be restricted to a particular region for multiple VPCs. Alright, so this was it for this video. Thank you for watching.